you and I both have watched the Vince McMahon documentary that's on Netflix. Six point is actually a docu series, six parts called Mr. McMahon has interviews with McMahon and Hulk Hogan and Stone Cold Steve Austin. And it goes through basically the history of the WWF, what later became the WWE. And I have not quite finished it yet. I'm on, I think I've done four and a half. You finished it though, right? Yeah. And my, uh, also my wife, pretty cool, is in it. She uh, yeah. uh, doing a report uh, about Vince McMahon. She's in the final episode. Uh, they have a short clip of her. So that was pretty cool. That was the thing that made me know that it even existed. And then I started watching it. And you know what? Maybe it brought, because it brought me back to, to my younger days, maybe the nostalgia element, but I love it. I, it is so well done. What do you think? Uh, you and I have been friends since seventh grade, and I don't remember you and I ever watching or talking about wrestling. Well, for me, it was, so it's so funny because I didn't recognize any of the quote unquote attitude era because by then I had tuned out. So all that stuff pretty much was like new to me. I vaguely knew that stuff was happening at the time. Like I knew who the rock was, but I knew nothing about a lot of that stuff. But what I did know about and what really got me was the stuff from when I was a little kid. And what with Hulk Hogan, like I was a fan probably from about the age of like seven to 12, late eighties to early nineties. And for that period, that was when it actually catered to little kids. Yeah. You had like Jake, the snake Roberts and Hacksaw Jim Duggan and Hulk Hogan and the macho man. So that's the era. I remember the later era. That stuff was crazy. I didn't even know a lot of that stuff happened. And it's crazy to think that stuff was allowed. It was not allowed, but they would put that stuff on television. Yeah. I got really uncomfortable with his interactions with the female uh, oh, wrestlers God. and the female entertainers. And uh, yeah, he says it in the piece. Like, obviously we would did then we could do now. And yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think it was tasteful at the time, but you know, no. and I, I'm, <laughs> but, but, the, but again, I say, I say that saying I chose not to be a wrestling fan and not watch wrestling during that era because it did not appeal to me, even though I was in the demographic that they, they were trying to target. And this isn't me on a high horse or saying that wrestling's bad. And if you enjoy wrestling that, you know, something's wrong with you. Like I get the, attraction to wrestling like if you like drama and soap operas and yeah i mean that's what it's there for i mean it's entertainment and the wwe is extremely entertaining to a lot of people i give him a ton of credit for growing that business taking it from a regional thing and building it into like what you and i remember because you and i are the same in that way i remember watching the wrestlemania with hulk hogan and the ultimate warrior oh and I mean, dude, it was awesome. I don't know if I've ever been ex as excited <laughs> for a sporting slash entertainment event in my life as I was for that. As like a what would I would have been like a ten or twelve year old? Yeah, but this is the Pete Rose thing. It is. I think on one hand, you can say that Vince McMahon is a yeah. successful businessman who you know was a visionary in wrestling and deserves a lot of credit for that. And on the other hand, he's just a garbage human being, man. <laughs> yeah. No, I think you're right. And I think the documentary brought both of those things out. And that's why I liked it so much. I loved how they how they really got into the psychology behind yeah. wrestling, because that's what's interesting is, is why does it work? We know it works. We know it was incredibly successful. Why? And, and, and they talk about this. And I think very kind of elegant terms in the documentary, even the people involved, they talk about how they look to what's going on in the real world. And it's a morality yeah. play. And it's it's. I the best I don't think they said this in the documentary, but the best way I've ever heard it described is a soap opera for men. And that's essentially what it is. It's it's about those kind of fundamental storytelling ideas. Yeah, everyone wants story. to hit their boss. Everyone right. wants to be violent. Absolutely. I gave but, an example earlier about wanting to be violent. That's yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, sure. And wrestling gives you that permission structure to see and cheer for the kinds of things that are not appropriate in polite, normal society. And I, and I think that that window into why it was so successful was really interesting. I agree with you. Like, look, it was despicable and deplorable, the kind of things they did in, in the late like nineties, early two thousands. Yeah. And the way that women were treated, like I guarantee you a lot of people that were beating women were watching, you know, WWE. I'm not saying that's why they were doing it, but I mean, that was just disgusting. Some of that stuff. It you know, I, I mean, don't even hold them accountable for it. It's just like in terms of, I understand why they did it because oh, it drew in an audience and it Absolutely. was entertaining and, and people want it. 
That still doesn't make it right. No, it doesn't. But putting aside wrestling as a sport or or and its you know morality or lack thereof, just in terms of the quality of the documentary, what did you think about that? Of the way the documentary told the story of Vince McMahon. I thought it was incredibly well done. It was one of those documentaries I watched that was six parts where it actually deserved to be six parts because of the way they broke it down. They weren't just dragging it on. Um, I found the production was incredibly well done. I, it's what I've come to expect from Netflix documentaries. I think it was put on by Bill Simmons group, the ringer. Uh, oh. I could be, yeah, wrong. I saw he was executive producer. I saw yeah. that in the credits. I agree. Yeah. Like I was shocked at how, how much video they they found like whoever their video assistants whoever was working on it, they must have spent hundreds or thousands of hours going through video because they had clips for everything going yeah. back 40 50 years like the attention they to allowed detail, a lot of access they really did the attention to detail and the way they told the story was just really brilliant. I I, I thought it was just an incredibly well done docu series. What well, what's your what's your rating for Mr. McMahon, Brian? I give it a nine. I really do. I thought it was incredibly well done. And the reason that my rating is so high is I think even if you don't know anything about wrestling, you could have come into that not knowing a thing, and you would have learned a lot and been entertained. Yeah. 